Welcome Haskellings to day 15. We've seen this type of input file before, and we know we can easily read this in using map, read, and the monkey operator. We're going to use the A star function from algorithm.search, so let's first import that module. Then we can get a GHCI session up to have a look at its type. The A star algorithm uses a function from a state to a list of the next states, a cost function from going from a state to a neighbouring state, an estimated cost from a state to a goal, a predicate for the goal, and a starting state, then returns us the total cost and cheapest path from start to goal. Let's go top down again and fill out the call to A star. We'll need a neighbours function, a cost function D, the estimated cost will be the Manhattan distance from the end, the goal is the end square, and we start at the start. The start is simply 0, 0, and the coordinates of the end square is the number of squares in each dimension minus 1. The cost to go to a neighbour is simply its risk level value. Indexed access for lists is linear time, so let's convert our grid to a vector of vectors and do the lookups like this. Now to do the neighbours function, we can start by adding the given point to each of the four neighbour offsets in neighbours 4, but we then have to make sure that we can't go off the edges, so we filter out any points that are out of bounds, and for that we'll also need this between function. We get an error here because AOC is re-exporting a function from Parsec of the same name, so let's hide that. And of course we've misspelt between here too. Now we have a Manhattan function already, but it takes in a single point, so to compare with end, we just subtract it from end first. And so A star has done its job and found us the lowest cost path, so we just need to use a combination of from maybe and fmap to extract the final cost and we're done. Part 2 only requires us to enlarge the grid, but the algorithm should work just as well. Let's call the original grid, grid0, and write functions to enlarge in each dimension. To enlarge a row, we can do a map for the repetitions, and then map over each cell to add the repetition index to the cell value, but the addition needs to wrap around to 1, so that's what we're doing with add prime. Now map.add is still a function, so we need to use mapm to apply that to each item and then can cut the results. To enlarge in the y direction, we do the same, but we need to use map2 instead. The last thing left to do is to allow A star to do its magic, and then we're done. So, as always, happy Haskelling! <laughs>